what's going on guys welcome back to our channel today we're gonna replace the wrecking pinion on this Ford Explorer I believe it's a 2014 and we have a really weird noise on this truck so the truck came because it was having a noise in the wrecking pinion and let me see if I can do it really quick this is the noise they were experiencing let me just pull it so that was the noise that we're complaining about and I guess the cause of it was this boot broken and a lot of dust came in and also I see that this car has been in an, to an accident so I guess it's original wrecking pinion and that's why it's doing that noise and they, they are just tired of it so to remove this wrecking pinion we have to lower the subframe and we have to remove actually just get loose the uh, the engine transmission support for this um, you don't have to hook any on on the top of the engine this thing is gonna be just flying here as you can see but it's held by the two mounts up there and we have to remove this but we're not gonna remove all the way down and as you can see here I marked these uh, pushings from the subframe so when I put it back it's gonna be close to the same position it was and I mark all of them and there's another mark here and pretty much uh, the other thing we have to remove is the connection for this uh, this bolt this thing right here this is a 10 millimeter 8 and we're gonna use you can do this on the floor but I'm going to use this this stance right here so we have to remove this lower uh, bolts this is gonna be a long one this one and this one and that one too and the subframe is gonna uh, go like this a little bit that way we can access the wrecking pinion on this side and we have to remove the uh, the um, stabilizer bar held by these 13 or 15 millimeter bolts and we will be able to remove the whole thing okay so as you can see here I already removed the subframe but not all of it just the front part actually the back part of the car and as you can see here I have all the, this clearance right here that way I can remove the connection the big one the power for it and the other connection is for the communication lines so the next step will be to remove this uh, four bolts there's two here and two over here to remove the uh, the bar for the stability and also you have to remove the uh, the sway bar links as well I have those already loose as you can see and the next step like I said is to take this out in order to remove this this uh <clears throat> the whole racking pinion out of the uh, suffering I already got this loose uh, I was wrong about this you don't really have to remove the uh, the stability bar but you do have to remove this so you can uh, move this in order to remove the racking pinion and it's gonna be easier um, moving it this way and then this thing is gonna come out from this side and uh, once you install this I mean remove this you have to install the other one and we're gonna reprogram the other one which is new and it doesn't have any software in it so we're gonna transfer the software from this one to that one I already have this removed out of the vehicle we have the new one here and pretty much the only thing you have to do is just change the heat shield I'll move it from here to over there and it's held only by three bolts one two three and you just put the cover on and then we're gonna be ready to take this one into the vehicle and then um, recalibrate it I have the new one installed already and don't forget to put this in there and connect this one and also the other one here at the back is this one so if you can see it right there 
so it has three connections the this one you don't have to disconnect it when you remove it um, and so yeah this uh, will be pretty much how to install it it's pretty straightforward it's you don't have to do many um, movements here just use a jack if you're doing this on the floor you can use a jack and um, the other the bolts on the front you don't really have to remove those just lift them there a little bit loose and that's it and once you got everything ready you just start lifting this one and don't forget to put this back because I'm already lifting this and I have to put this one over here like this and then I can start lifting this thing up all right so good luck all right guys so as you can see I already installed pretty much everything um, don't forget to install that thing for the steering and the wrecking pinion uh, it's a 10 millimeter and when you're removing it you just you just have to lift it and when you install it you just have to pull it down it's it's not too hard to, to do it so right now I'm going to check if it has calibrations or if, if the module comes already pre-programmed from the factory or we need to upload a calibration into it and looks like I already got some codes for the ABS so maybe we have to uh, calibrate that steering module for this car this is a 2015 uh, it works it's the same thing for a 2014 pretty much the same thing so we, we see here it's passing most of it the front module the fuse box the lining module the generic module GPS uh, what else we have Con air conditioning so we should be really close to the steering module power steering control module and we see here we have fault okay so we see here we have a bunch of codes and the one I get is initial configuration not complete so the other codes reported or because of the other um, something wrong about it they had in the past or something just gonna erase those codes and see if they come back or no okay it passes but this one passes too so we need to check the calibration looks like it's already pre-programmed yeah so we need to do the initial calibration for this let me just, so, just close the switch and open it again we're gonna close hot functions and let's see we have the steering we're gonna initialize the sequence so it says before proceeding make sure the steering, the steering wheel is straight and you have the brake on ensure that you're not pressing the brake pedal parking in level ground do not press the gas pedal so we're gonna press continue and we press ok set ignition on and then we're gonna wait just a little bit operation in progress please wait please wait procedure successful turn off the switch and it's ready okay so we have two options here so we're gonna select programmable parameters and we're gonna select power string we're gonna select the size of the tire we have 18 Pirelli's we're gonna press ok we're just gonna wait ensure the following has been taken its ignition is on and it's doing its thing configuring please wait mm, let's see come on okay module configuration complete okay so this will be done set the initial switch off we're gonna press ok and then we're gonna go back to the module 
and check if everything is clear. I'm gonna clear the code because there's probably a code in there. The one that I have before because I didn't clear it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, no faults detected. So the module is pretty much already programmed. We just need to program the tire size into this module. And let's check the live data. Okay, looks good, looks good. Let's see. Steering angle. Wanna move the, the steering wheel. And yeah, we have good, good stability on that. So we're just gonna go back. We're gonna cycle the key again and check again. Make sure we don't have any codes on that module. Okay, read codes. Okay, let's see, let's see. And yep, yeah, no fault codes. So that was pretty much the whole thing we had to do. Just program the tire size. And yep, we are ready to go. All right, guys, so this will be the end of the video. Um, I hope you liked the information on how to remove and install a wrecking pin on this 2014 Ford um, Explorer. It's pretty much the same thing for the 2015. And as you can see, or you saw on the previous video, <clears throat> you have to, if you got a, a new um, power steering wrecking pinion from the dealership, you don't actually have to program it using the uh, the original equipment from from Ford, uh, you just need a scanner. Uh, the only thing you have to do is uh, initialize the sequence to program the uh, tire size into the module. That's all what it needs. And as you can see, we don't have any light or anything. Usually, if you leave it um, not programmed, you're gonna have the traction control on and a bunch of codes for the power steering and the code that you saw for the initialization sequence for the module. So I already calibrated also the steering wheel. Um, you have to do that because we removed the, uh, the racking pinion. So hope you liked the information guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, like, dislike if you didn't like the video and also turn on notifications to be updated with every video I upload every week. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.